Okay, uh, we're going to begin part three of lesson 14, turning your book to page 130. And let's begin. Miss Lim asked her class to find an expression equivalent to 7 minus 3 times 4 minus 2x minus 10x. One step in each of the following students' work is incorrect. Find and explain the error. Then write your own expression equivalent to the one given above. Okay, first of all, we need to recall what our order of operations are. Um, so I'm going to write that off to the side. Order of operations. Because that's going to come in handy for um, these three students' works. So we have parentheses. Followed by exponents. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Most of you are familiar with the um, phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, and that comes from the acronym of P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS. All right, so if we look at John, it says the original equation is 7 minus 3 times 4 minus 2x minus 10x. Well, when we would go to, down to step 2, it says 4 times 4 minus 2x minus 10. So, looking from step one to step two, it appears that John did seven minus three to get the four. And actually, that would be the place where he went wrong in step one uh, with, the, with the four. Um, because you would be distributing this three to these terms. After you've done that, then you worry about the 7. So that's where uh, John went wrong and got the incorrect answer. Then if we look at Madison, she's got the original equation right there. Then we got 7 minus 3 times 2x minus 10. So if we look, she made a mistake here. Because what she did was the 3 times the 2x... But she didn't do the 3 times the 4. She left that completely out. So, of course, whenever she did that, whenever she rewrote her equation, that's going to make it totally wrong. Okay. Um, then, we look at Selena. We've got what the original equation is. Then... The next step, she's got 7 minus 12. Well, she got 12 by doing the 3 times the 4. And then she's got minus 2x, or subtract 2x. Well, she went wrong there because she should have taken the 3 times the 2x. So, right there is where she made her mistake that indicated her getting the incorrect answer. Okay. Now, we need to establish a couple of... Um, important terms, um, a constant okay, a variable is the letter to represent an unknown number. A coefficient is the number beside, um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a different word in there. The number directly 
in front or beside the variable and a constant is um, just a number number that doesn't change okay constant is um, a number that doesn't have the, a variable with it so if we were to really solve this problem okay the problem was 7 minus 3 times 4 minus 2x minus 10x okay so let's first start off by changing all the subtractions to additions taking the opposite of the next term okay now we're going to have to distribute this negative 3 to both of these terms so we're going to have 7 here a negative times positive is a negative 3 times 4 is 12 and a negative times negative is positive. 3 times 2 is 6x plus negative 10x. So we're going to combine the terms that um, are alike. So we've got the two constants of 7 and negative 12. They're unlike signs. We're going to have to subtract. Take sign large number. So 12 minus 7 is 5. 12 is larger. 12 is negative. So 5 is negative. We're going to add to it. We have 6x plus negative 10x. Well, again, they're unlike signs. We're going to have to subtract. Take sign large number. 10 minus 6 is 4. Uh, 10 is larger. 10 is negative. So our answer here is negative. So it's negative 5 plus negative 4x is our answer there. Okay, so with number 9, it says John didn't follow the order of operations. Explain what he did wrong. Well, John... Subtracted. 7 minus 3 before multiplying. For number 10, it says Madison made a mistake when she combined terms. Explain what Madison did wrong. Well, the 4 and 2x are not like terms. So you cannot combine them. Number 11, it says Selena didn't use the distributor properly, property correctly. Where did she go wrong? Explain your thinking. Um, she should have multiplied the 3 and 2x to get 6x, which she forgot. Okay, number 12. It says, write an expression that is equivalent to 7 minus 3 times 4 minus 2x minus 10x. Show your work. I'm just going to say for this one, um, correct work is on previous page 130, okay? Because we've already worked that one. Number 13, it says, how can you be sure you've used the properties of operation correctly to form an expression that is equivalent to the original one? Um, you could evaluate. Solve. Another word for evaluate is to solve. Both expressions with a number. Plug in for the variable to see if They are equivalent. Okay, number 14, it says, is negative 8 minus 
2 times 3 plus 2n plus 7n equivalent to negative 30 minus negative 13n. Explain why or why not. All right, let's first change the subtractions to addition, take the opposite, and then um, we'll start distributing and combining terms. So we've got negative 8 plus a negative 2 times positive 3. Negative times positive is a negative, and 2 times 3 is 6. And a negative times positive is a negative. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4n plus 7n. All right, negative 8 plus negative 6 is going to be negative 14. And negative 4n plus 7n, they're unlike signs. We subtract, take sign large number, so that would be a difference of 3n. Well, negative 14 plus 3n is not equivalent to negative 30 minus 13, so not equivalent. Then for number 15, it says, is negative a fourth y plus 2 and 1 fourth y plus 2 minus y equivalent to y plus 2? Explain why or why not. Okay, so for this one, we're going to change subtraction to addition, take the opposite, and start combining. So we know that there's an understood 1 in front of this y, negative 1y. So if we have a negative 1y We've got a negative fourth y and a negative one y plus two and one fourth y plus two. So that's going to give us negative one and one fourth plus two and one fourth. And when we find the difference there, that's going to give us a difference of one y or just y plus two. Because 2 will be left over. So y plus 